Do you see the Jewish scarf around his neck? Now you, now you Christian deny it. You say I see nothing. Yeah, yeah. Go blind as usual. Say I saw nothing. I know nothing. Where, where? It's in the front of you. It's around his neck. This is a Jewish, uh, you know, uh, uh, left hand. And do you see the Star of David there? He have the Star of David over his head. He have the Star of David in his belt. He have the, the Jewish things around his uh, neck. And yeah, and so, so what if you are an angel? You are an angel. And look, because Moses was very nice, he did not use his guns. I'm telling you, he was nice. He just used one hand. He took the eye. Of, he didn't want to kill him, by the way. He didn't want to kill him, you know? He knew that this guy worked for Allah. I mean, it's not his fault. You know, Musa says to himself, I mean, this idiot is coming to take my life. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know who I am? I'm a Jew. You know? First you pay your credit card, and then we can talk. The stupid uh, angel, he did not pay Musa's. So, I uh, know, he, Musa's, he, Musa, the angel until now did not know why he did beat him. You stupid, you have to pay first. You have to do business with him. Musa, don't waste his time. This is what Muhammad knew about Moses. And he is the one who tells us the truth about Jesus. Don't you think this is too much knowledge and true knowledge? So, brothers and sisters, next time, if you see Moses, his cousins, Anybody from his family, never tell him, I am the angel of death. He will take your eye. Now I know why the Jews, they say, I for an eye. <laughs> I thought it's for a different reason. And now I know why Moses, he decided to take the eye. You know, like, you know what I'm saying, don't you? Oh, hold on. What about Muhammad who want to tell the truth about Jesus? Tell us the truth about Moses chasing his stone. The Jews, once upon a the time, there was a guy, his name is Moshe. He's a Jewish prophet. Moshe was shy. He don't like to take a shower in front of others. The Jews, brother, they spread rumors because Jews, you know, you know the Jews, you know the Jews, you know. I mean, you know what they do. Come on, you know, they, you know. As you see, those are authentic hadith, authentic story, All right? So, because he don't take shower with them, and this is Muhammad who tell us the truth about Jesus. I mean, his way decided to tell us the truth about Moses too. So Moses was very shy. You know, there's many people who are shy. Like Muhammad himself, as an example, he was very shy. That's why he could not have kids. Each time his wife, she said, take off your pant. Hey, you know, come on. I say, okay, here. And you know, she spent their life and no, no kids. The wife of Muhammad, she said, do women even have this charge? Yeah, he was shy. Even Aisha, she said, she never saw the private part of her husband. How? What they, what they used to do then? Either it was so small, and she have a weak vision, maybe, or it's not there. Anyway, Allah Messenger said, I like it when they say Allah Messenger said, that's serious. Allah Messenger talking, sit down. Everybody sit down. Uh, there is some people that did not sit down. Muhammad here, Muhammad in the chat, my friend, sit down. You keep making a objection for what I say, but you don't want to call me. What I would do? Come on, man, sit down. No, no, you sit down first. No, I swear by Allah, Shin, you sit down first. No way, no way. Brother, you know, you see two Muslims in the front of the door of the movie theater, and each one of them says, no, brother, you go first. No, I swear by Allah. You go first. 
Uh, no way, absolutely. And there's like 50 people waiting behind them and they are blocking the door. No way, brother, you, I swear by Allah fingers, you go first. I swear by my wife and my children, you go first. No, listen to me. I'm getting serious now. You go first or else. <laughs> and then the other guy, he convinced like, okay, okay, don't go that far, brother. I will get first in. Yeah, the drama. And then when when he say, okay, I will go first, the other guy go with him at the same time and they hit their shoulder. It's a Charlie Chaplin movie. So now, Muhammad, who want to tell us the truth about Jesus, he decided to tell you the truth about Moses because he go back on time. He know everything. Moses. And what you know about Moses. And what you do not know about Moses. Moses was a very shy man. Extremely shy man. the most ever shy man. Commercial break. If you are looking to buy shy, shy from India, Sri Lanka, my cousins, they have the best. Buy shy from us before Allah shy you. Shy is the best shy in Arabic mean tea. So shy, take it now or leave it. Otherwise, this is the last opportunity to make your purchase before, because we have only one order left. One order. We will take only the first 10 million calls, okay? But we have only one, one, one left. Back to the topic. Since Moshe was so shy, he don't even say when he want to leave goodbye. When he take a shower, he hide. He don't say why. The Jews just start wondering. What is the reason? How come? Why? They say there is something wrong. His testicles are sick with bing bong. If you like to play bing bong, we have a racket for you, and those are the best in Amazon, number one sales. It's true, they have a very bad review, and nobody buying them, and we want to sell them to you almost for free. You pay only for shipping and handling. However, you will never receive the product because Allah is taking care of the shipping and handling. End of the commercial. So when they accuse Moses that his testicles have been bong, because they look like balls. By the way, they never saw them. But they were guessing. Mm. Allah decide to clear his balls from all the accusation. He wanted to show them that Moses has good balls. So Allah thought about a trick. If you are looking for a trick, will not trick you. We have no problem. We have Joe Biden. You listen to his speech. You will be tricked. You will have no idea what he is talking about. At the end of it, he will say, I am Joe Biden, approve this message. If you like this message, please make donation for Joe Biden if you like to vote for Trump. Thank you very much. End of commercial. So Allah, he said, I'm going to clear the reputation of the balls of Moses. I mean, come on, they are talking about the balls of a prophet. 
Do you know what balls you are talking about? Don't you know that Musa's got balls? What a bad decision you made. We continue the series in the coming section. If you have a problem with your giving birth as a female and you have a section birth, they open your belly, they get the child out, we have a solution for you. Recite the Quran. The baby will never come out as a baby. You will have a diarrhea. Quran is the best. Forget about the rest. You will die laughing. The baby will die with you. And that's it. Your husband is happy. He get married from a new wife. And there's no baby and there's no child support. End of commercial. Going back to the topic. So Allah decided to clear bowls of Moses. When Moses went to take a shower in secluded area, he put his clothing over a rock. Over a rock. Over a rock. And then Allah, he made the rock move. And the rock took the cloth of Moses. And the rock was rocking. If you like listen to rock and roll music, we have a CD for you. It's called Moses Rock and Roll. In fact, the name of the holy music is coming from this hadith. Rock and Roll. This rock was rolling, however, we do not know how she was able to keep the clothing in the top of her. Yes, she was a female, because Moses don't put his clothes over a male. Hello? <laughs> you kidding me? So, the rock are rolled, name is coming from the name of Musa. So, if you are interested in rock and roll, Arabian rock war, you know, Arabian Muhammad, Prophet, Allah, a rock and roll in Quran, yeah, man, that Quran will rock you. Actually, the fact will knock you, will make you feel like you are high without taking hashish. Unbelievable. End of commercial. Rock and roll. So Moses, he went to seclusion. He took off his clothes. He put them on a stone and he started taking the bath. When he had finished the bath, he moved toward the clothes to take them. But the stone, the stone, the stone took his clothes and fled. Moses picked up his stick. What a good pick. He book up his stick and he run after the stone saying, Oh stone, give me my garment. If you have a problem with your laundry and your garment is dirty and your wife is lazy, you do not know how to clean it. Use camel urine. It's a proven that the Italian used to use pee to do laundry. Prophet Muhammad, he used it as a detergent, same time as Pepsi Cola. End of commercial. So Moses, he said, oh stone, give me my garment. Give me my garment. Till he reached the group of Bani Israel. He was running non-stop and the store running too he run she run he stop she stop she run he run until he found himself in the middle of Jerusalem downtown walking down street naked downtown 
if you like to go downtown and you are looking for a restaurant we have a best restaurant in the world in this restaurant we serve only halal food which is approved by Allah no pork but by the way we are not forbidden to eat zebra donkeys but they are not the house donkeys uh, lizard uh, rats uh, all kind of weird creatures but no pork so if you're interested sign our restaurant in the menu it says Allah knows best what will happen to you after you eat in our food thank you very much end of commercial mm. So when Moses he run after the stone and the stone keep running and he run after it and the stone never even take a break. Moses was good in marathon. In fact, he was number one in Greece. I heard that. It is documented. He keep running and then the stone, evil stone of Allah stopped in the middle of downtown where all women, men, children busy in the market. And then the stone stopped. And everybody saw the penis and the balls of Moses. I cannot continue, sorry. I have to delete this scene because this is for YouTube will take my video down. I mean, we cannot show you more. We have to stop here. Everybody downtown start looking at the balls of Moses. Women, they said, oh my Allah. Men, they said, oh Zibril. Children, they say, this guy, he have three legs. I mean, they could not believe what they are seeing. It's so good. And they found him, read with me, I'm not saying that. This is what the prophet says. And they found him the best of what Allah had created. Is it me who said the best? They are looking at what? Remember the accusation for his balls and his penis. His penis and the balls are the best ever. Allah created. And you are telling me that Muhammad is not qualified to tell you the truth about Jesus? Well, here we go. He can even tell you the truth about the balls and the penis of Moses. How big they are beautiful and size does matter. I feel sorry for all those women at that time. They look at Moses, they look at their husband, they look at Moses. Oh, the husband, they put their head down like, oh, please don't look, don't compare me. He's a prophet of Allah. What I can do? Allah, he made him have the best uh, tools. You know, what, why you are comparing between what I have and what Moses have? All the women, they were so disappointed. Moses have those. My husband don't. I heard, actually, the men, they disappear from town for the coming six months. They decide to take a vacation. The wife, they say, where are you going? I said, oh, you know, I need to go do hiking. She said, you're doing a hiking, huh? Hiking? You think if you do hiking, it's going to get better? We saw what Moses have, and we saw what you have already. Right. Stay, stay here, stay here. What the heck is that? Hmm. And this is the guy who want to tell you the truth about Jesus. Aren't you convinced that Muhammad, he knew the truth? I'm not going to continue. Next time we will talk about the truth about Jesus' crucifixion, maybe. As you see, we open our Skype. Let me see, I see me a text message from somebody. Trinity, three God. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Let us see this guy. Let's call him. We have a Muslim. I hope he is not from Ghana.
He said to me in Skype, you have three gods. <laughs> he is not answering. <laughs> okay, take care, potato. Um, do we have another Muslim? No. I listened to your show. I would like to speak to you. Why you want to speak to me? Trust me, you don't want to speak to me. You will go crazy. Yeah, there is no Muslim. The only Muslim he takes me, he refused to answer. So, people, be honest with yourself. Don't you think that Muhammad maybe is the only one who can tell us the truth about Jesus, about Moses, about Abraham? I mean, look, we even find out how the lizard was involved in the conspiracy against Abraham. Those informations, nobody knows, even the CIA. In fact, the name CIA was named after one of the lizard. You know what I'm saying? Because when Abraham, he pointed his finger at the lizard, you know, he noticed that all the animals, all the creatures are trying to stop the fire, except the lizard. He said, see, I, I, which means he's in pain. A, you know, like, okay, we got you, you know, like, uh, and, and do you under, like, understand? Like, you know, like, you know, in Arabic, you know, Arabic, you know. So, uh, C, I, A, like, see, I, you know, like, the lizard have big eyes, you know, like, I, A, you know. A is number one enemy. That's it. You know, get him. So, uh, this is where the name of CIA came. And this is all explained in the Sahih Bukhari. Uh, you know, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then, by the way, here I did not finish the story. When Moses, he got the Hajar, the, the, the rock stop, he took his clothing and he started beating the rock. Hmm. And I find it very amazing that the Jews, they were not wondering how in the world the stone is running by itself. They were wondering how wonderful the balls of Moses. It looked like at that time, stones run all the time and they still close. I mean, nobody noticed. I mean, like they are not surprised that the stone is running with the clothing. They are, they are looking all of them at the balls and the penis of Moses. Hmm. I think those people who was in the time of Moses, they were Democrat. They didn't see how Joe Biden looked like. Mm, you know, I mean, they look amazing for them. They didn't see all the rocks he's throwing. Economy is bad, inflation, gas prices, all the crazy stuff. But look at his balls, man. He got balls. I mean, do you see the balls? So all the Jews downtown, nobody asked himself, like, what the heck, a rock carrying clothing in the top of it? What? And running? Nobody. Nobody. Even, do you see the whole story? is like, nothing happened. All what the story is about is about the balls and the penis of Moses. Because obviously, brothers and sisters, in the old days, those are radioactive rocks. They can move. They have uranium, active uranium. I mean, don't you see what rocks can do? Rocks and roll. Did we have a good time with the silly stupid Muhammad, who the Muhammadan are telling us that he is the one who can tell us the truth about Jesus? How many of you will download the video? And by the way, you can cut it pieces. As an example, you can make the movie about Moses, a video alone. And you name it the truth about Moses. People will love to watch this drama. The truth about Moses, about his balls, about the rock and roll. That all is a true story. And who is better than Prophet Muhammad to tell the truth? Take it 
or leave it. Christ is Lord. And the scam Muhammad got busted.